everyone so welcome to the um, nail art stocking holder workshop so in this workshop there's a couple different varieties you could do a different skill levels um, some are going to be easier than others um, but I did notate that when you purchase so um, just kind of keep with it um, and we're gonna kind of show you how to roll through this today so in your kit you're gonna have obviously your holders um, in there you're gonna have your nails um, you will need a hammer so if you don't have one you'll need to grab one pick one up um, they're pretty inexpensive I'm pretty sure even the dollar store has some pretty um, easy will work good for this workshop doesn't need to be like something you're gonna build a house in with or anything like that um, so you're gonna have your stocking holders I've got them here in a couple different stages of completion so you guys can kind of see how this is gonna roll um, so obviously this one is completed um, you're gonna obviously do the nails and you'll take out your your piece of paper and then that's when you'll go ahead and use the string um, for the stars and the tree you're obviously going to be filling in the middle with the string if you're doing the snowflake you're actually just going to be outlining but I'll show you that here in a minute so um, I gave you two of your patterns um, this pattern actually doesn't have the little black dots on it like yours is going to have them actually going to notate on your pattern where um, the nails should go and then the second pattern is just going to be for you to put aside um, to look, use as like a to look at and I'll show you why here in a minute you'll understand better so all right so first and foremost this one is in progress um, if I start nailing right now my camera is going to start going all over the place here so I'm not going to actually do any nailing on the film but um, what you'll do to start is you'll take your pattern you're gonna lay it down and obviously it's just a piece of paper you're gonna be able to nail right through it um, what I do when I start I always go to my corners first on um, this one I didn't just because I wanted to show you guys but um, so I would put a nail here I would go put a nail there 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 like all the points just to like get the piece of paper to stay down and then I would go back and fill in um, these little spots right here um, totally up to you but that's just the easiest way for me because then the paper's not like falling all over the place and then once you get completed um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna pull this paper right off um, you can try to be delicate with it to get it off in one piece it may not work for some designs especially the snowflake snow flake pattern um, you're probably gonna end up ripping the paper off which is fine that's what you're supposed to be doing um, so go ahead and do that and then once you are ready to start adding your string I'm gonna show you guys kind of how this works and another thing with um, I gave you guys that pattern um, online or in your kit but online I'm gonna have pictures of all of these so if you tear your paper off because like if you look like you're like what what is going on there right <laughs> once you take that pattern off especially the snowflake that's why I said this one's complicated um, you're like uh... so it may take some trial and error I'm not gonna lie to you um, it's taking me some trial and error to figure out like where was what with the snowflake um, as you can see there but what I do to start is I grab um, my string and I tie just like a, a simple little like knot around the first screw that I want to start um, that's just to kind of start start me off um, and then I, I wait to trim the edges until I get to the end um, but then yeah I would you use your pattern I'll put this down here hopefully you guys can still see use that pattern that was included in your kit to kind of refresh your memory of you know what is going on where because this is what my pattern looked like after the snowflake yeah it's in pieces so that's not helpful to me but you guys are going to be able to have that pattern with you so you can kind of figure out what's going on this is getting in my way so basically with the snowflake um like i said this is an outline i'm gonna try to do this without my big head being in the way um and once you get one done um, you're gonna kind of figure out what's going on here it's just that first one you kind of got to figure out here and then you're just gonna weave it you know back and forth back and forth um, some people like to on each screw they like to actually I'll try to do this so you guys can see it um, circle the string around each screw and that's only if you want to um, you know it's gonna make it a little bit more secure but not necessary not totally necessary this is really hard to do guys with this up in the air so. <laughs> um, 
so yeah you just and then you continue on um, obviously you're gonna want to hold the string pretty tight because if you get it loose all these is just gonna kind of fall off so you don't want to do that right um, and then you'll just go through and once you get to the end you'll just tie another knot and then tie it off so um, this one like I said you're just doing the outline just because there's not really any space in between there to fill in um, but for uh, the star and the Christmas tree you're gonna be actually filling in the middle so how I did this one was um, I just tied a knot around I started I think at the bottom and uh, I just started going to town um, one thing I did improve on with this tree will look a little different for you guys is um, I do think it's gonna need a couple more nails so your uh, pattern is actually gonna call for a little bit more nails than this tree just to give the tree a little bit more structure I wasn't super impressed with um, it, it looks like a tree but your guys is gonna be better I promise um, so you just tie it around that and then you just start going to town like if you want to have a specific pattern um, some people are definitely the pattern type people in the world and I have no problem with those people if you want to start down here and go here and then here and then here and then start there and then start do it that way if you just want to go ham crazy where you're just like whoop, whoop, all over the place basically all you're doing is you're going across loop it go back cross loop it until this is filled in enough um, once you get to a point you're like yep I like that that's good um, and you're good to go and then what I did was obviously I did the bottom first and then let me zoom in here um, I went up top with the yellow and I just did it um, again with the star nothing too fancy there so then once you get to the end just tie it off like you started um, and you are good to go um, the other question I always get is nail depth like how far do these need to go in um, that's up to you honestly um, it's kind of hard to see here but I always do it just enough so that um, I have a decent amount of room if you push it in too hard um, especially with the ones where you're filling in you're only gonna be able to go around it a couple times until it's gonna be like full up um, and I don't want to make it super hard on myself if it's super close to the wood um, you're gonna be super sad I promise you're gonna be trying to get that piece of string around there and it's just gonna be a headache so give yourself a little bit of room you honestly you can't tell um, and the things the thing about the nail is if it goes in too much you can just pull it back out we all know that right that's what the back of your hammer is for if you're a new newbie to your hammer that's what this part's for um, if it goes in sideways you can always tap it from the side um, you will learn how to hammer very well after this project so um, so there you go it, it's pretty basic it's basically following your pattern um, make sure that you jump online and show me your completed projects um, if you don't love the string colors that came in this kit, um, no fear, you can run to any craft store and they will have every color under the sun there, I promise. You can grab some different colors if you want to do, do a different color green on here maybe or just something, your star, you want to add something to it, a little jazz to it. Um, feel free to um, do that and then just make sure once you get your project completed, you have it up on your mantle with all your beautiful stockings um, that you go ahead and you post a picture on Facebook for me so that I can see everyone's amazing creativity.